What is up, y'all? Sean, the Average Angler, and we are back in the office. It's been a while since we've done it in the office. <clears throat> and we are, let's see, it is the 26th. So we're coming up on July, and it is officially summer, which means one thing. Water's warm, fish are active, and they have got to eat. This is a great time of year to get out there and fish aggressive. I have one, two, three, four, five, six baits for you, okay? Some of them with alternatives, uh, depending on where and what you're fishing. I'll kind of explain those as I go. Man, where do I start? All right, well, let's... uh. Let's start with one of my favorites, and that's going to be the swing head jig, okay? This is a three-quarter ounce football head with a swing head hook on it. This bait is a adrenaline craw and green pumpkin blue flake. I keep it pretty simple this time of year, folks. This is called purple shadow. Kind of a purple and black, awesome freaking color. And I'm going to use these same things for a jig trailer. And then my other favorite, the Blue Craw Rage, Magnum Rage Bug. All right, now where to fish this? Points. And I like to fish it parallel, if you will, out offshore. Uh, and figuring out the depth the fish are hanging in. Now... I don't live on any TVA type bodies of water. Um, Clear Lake's a natural lake. Berryessa is a reservoir. Um, both I'm going to fish pretty similar in that I'm going to get out in that 12 to 16 to 18 foot and I'm going to swim this. Okay, on the bottom, so it's banging bottom. You want this to bang bottom, cause a commotion. And this is going to help me locate fish. Not just that, it catches giants, okay? Uh, might be a little harder to get confidence in because sometimes it takes you a little while to figure out the cadence and, and dial it in. But it's a great water covering bait. Now, the other side of that is the regular three-quarter ounce football head jig. Same type of trailer. Those are the trailers I'm going to use on this. I generally go brown and purple, green pumpkin purple. This I'm going to throw once I've established and worn them out on that. If I'm in rock piles and things, I'm going to go straight to this. Okay. Again, you can fish it aggressive. In the heat of the day, you might need to slow down a little bit. I generally don't. I'm looking for the big aggressive bite. All right, moving it to the complete opposite end of the water column. We have the Berkeley Swamp Lord. Okay, again, keep it pretty basic. This one is uh, called Copperhead. It, it's brown, okay, natural color. Brown, black, or a white. Keep my frog fishing pretty simple. The popping frog, I'm going to throw more around open water. The walking frog, more around grass slash open water. Where there's pockets, those kinds of things. I generally throw my frogs on 65-pound braid, 7, 2 to 7 foot, 4, medium, heavy. All right, let's see. All right, let's stay on top. The Berkeley Cane Walker. My open water, cover water bait. Um, points, flats, those kinds of things without grass. If you got grass, you're going to have to go to the frog. Uh, typically, all day long. Okay, I'll pick it up, make some casts, put it down, go to something else. Kind of go back and forth, but fish it throughout the day. The heat of the day, folks, when the sun is the highest, oftentimes you will get your best bites on top water. Not necessarily numbers of bites, but your best bites, okay? Again, throw it on braid, 30 to 40 pounds generally is what I use for my top water stuff. 
right along with that if you want to cover water a little faster the chopo okay again this is our winner from the giveaway i'm sending his package out today i've had a hard time getting the post office during business hours because i have a job too uh, for me generally i'm going to throw either white or black okay the chopo an alternative to the chopo if you are throwing it over grass because these trebles will grab the grass no good in grass is the buzz bait okay i, I like that g buzz from uh I don't know. It, it's the Gerald Swindle G-Buzz. It has no skirt on it. I like to fish the Zoom Horny Toad on it, again, in white or black. Like The blade lately that's been the best for me is the gold, which puts out a ton of flash. Go figure, you know. Uh, high sun, lots of flash, clear water, and that's what they've been eating. Moving down in the water column just a little bit. If you have shad present... Uh, some lakes will, some won't. Some they've gone deeper and others they're still up and doing the shad spawn. The square bill. Okay, this is one of my favorites. It's Lucky Craft. This is the 1.5. On Clear Lake, I like the 2.5. And these are really inexpensive, folks. Although... I, I did look the other day at Tackle Warehouse and was unable to see, find them. I don't know if they discontinued them or not. I'll look again. All the stuff will be linked in the description for you. Okay. Uh, last and final bait. And this is going to be an interesting one. Okay. Deep diving crankbait. Now, the thing is, and you'll see these are 20.5s, okay? So they're going to run around the 20-foot depth. You'll see a ghost pattern. If your water is real clear, I'll go ghost. If it's a little more stained, I'll throw a painted bait. Now, I'm not necessarily going to be fishing these 20.5s in 20-foot of water. I might be throwing those in 10 or 12-foot of water. At other times, it might be four or five foot of water. I really want that bait bang in the bottom. And I fish it fast and aggressive. And I have literally had fish suck that crankbait in, in their mouth and out the gill, and it hooks them in the body. They hit it so aggressively and, and suck in so hard when they're eating that bait. It's incredible. You really want it. It's a pure reaction strike. Um, I generally will fish that on 16 to 18 pound fluorocarbon, usually sniper, so that there's a little bit of, of stretch in the line. If you want to take some of the stretch away, you can go to the shooter. Uh, when the fish are in that, eight to 12 foot range. This is a deadly way to catch them, folks. I mean, really beat that thing on the bottom. Um, and like I said, even in, in three, four foot of water, if you're on a point, throw it up there, get it in that three, four feet and bring it out. You might have to work it a little bit slower up shallower and then get more aggressive as it comes out. But in that shallower water, the way it's gonna be banging off the rocks because it's so shallow, it is going to create that commotion that you need. July is a really fun time to fish. It's unbearably hot, I know, but it also increases the fish's metabolism, and that means they got to eat. Get out there, have some fun. Click that like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. We'll bring you some more fish on.